How's it going everyone? This is Dr. Hefe and welcome to another Crusader Kings 3 achievement run. In this run, we're going to go for the almost there achievement as almost our pad form hungry and convert to Christianity. And I got to say, I'm excited to do this one. As you probably saw from that uh, main title, I did a little bit of a test run. And this achievement feels so easy, so nice. We're going to get it done in one video. So our starting character, choose almost our pad. It's very easy to find in the 867 Great Adventurer's Start. Just click on it, make sure Iron Man's enabled, and you're ready to go. Uh, yep, you got to save it. Easy peasy. Now this, this achievement is very straightforward. And the reason why it's so straightforward is because of this simple decision right here. It pops up right here. Prepare to cross the Carpathians. Send riders to each tribe. You're gonna get this nice text. You know, we, we gotta get out of here, basically. We gotta get out of this step. We're gonna cross into Pannonia, and we're gonna uproot our realm and take over. So we're gonna cross the Carpathians, and we get this special migrate to Pannonia, causes Belli against any one ruler within Pannonia. And Pannonia, basically Hungary. So we go to P Kingdom Titles. We can see it right here. Who has the most land over here? We could go against Great Moravia. We could go against Ungvar, Balaton, but no. We're going to go against Bulgaria. It's very straightforward. If we declare this war before they get an ally, it'll be even easier. Let's choose a martial lifestyle. We'll choose Chivalry Focus. Great idea. <laughs> I'm not sure we want this overseer we could reset the perks make it probably even easier if we set it to strategist so you know what why not let's let's reset it who cares we'll go down this one we'll get these tactics and the reason why is going to become clear very soon but we'll go down this one get the sappers to increase our siege speed that's very important we'll get the stalwart leader as well so that when we lead our armies we're less likely to die in battle. And yeah, we're, we're ready to go. Let's create uh, some men at arms regiments. We'll, we'll create some onagers to increase the speed at which we can, uh, you know, siege these enemies. We don't need any extra prestige. We'll spend it all on this. That's fine. And we are ready to go. So we can just click on him, declare war, migrate to Pannonia. And yeah, okay, here's all these things. But uh, let's see, enforce demands. Where Where does it say? Ah, right down here. So once we declare this war, he's going to lose some opinion. Who cares? We get an army of 3,000 men and a second army of 2,000 men. So we declare the war. What are these armies made up of? Are they all skirmishers? Nope. We get 2,000 levies plus 1,000 horse archers. And these horse archers are super strong. Look at this, 54 attack, 22 toughness, 40 pursuit, 35 screen. The second army, 1,000 levies and another 1,000 horse archers. Amazing, amazing army right here. So we'll raise uh, all the rest of our army here and we'll just send them in. So we wanna take the land in Pannonia, otherwise they're gonna get a ticking war score. Uh, what? I mean, who cares about this stress, right? We can we can do some go on a hunt, host a feast at some point. It'll be fine. Oh yeah, let's divine the stars. Sometimes you can get a good benefit, which will improve your marshal. But what? The Byzantine Empire joined this war? Oh my god, are you kidding me? <laughs> that was unexpected. But still, these horse archers will destroy these levies. This guy has nothing on these 2,000 horse archers. That's that's a crazy amount of men-at-arms that they're not going to be able to defeat you with. So one thing we're going to want to do is send only our main army in to do the sieging. Uh, the other two armies, since they don't really require uh, supplies, so they're not taking up any supply limit, they can sit outside and not suffer attrition from the siege. And plus, we have our onagers right here that are going to be doing extra damage to, to the enemy fort. 
So we'll just keep it that way. Yeah, well supplied, not using any supply. Second army, well supplied, not using any supply. Let's make sure we're using our best commander. We can use ourselves. We have 29. And we'll just put a, we'll put somebody else over here. That's fine. Our son, who cares? Uh, we can also grab some concubines. Apparently not. <laughs> we're taking a little prestige hit for being under concubine limit, but that's fine. So yeah, we'll just sit here. In my test playthrough, the Byzantine Empire did not join as a co-belligerent. Somehow Bulgaria got a really nice marriage there. But, uh, you know, maybe we can see. I mean, they're already in the war. So even murdering whoever got them this nice... This nice uh, alliance won't really matter. But yeah, okay. So they're going to come together. But I'm just going to show you how powerful these this group is. Okay, defending in mountains, we don't even care. We're going to destroy the Basilius. Like, look how quickly we are crushing these guys, even with a minus advantage. That's just how strong these horse archers are. And they're fighting in bad terrain. Imagine if we fought these guys on the plains. They'd be crushed. Alright, so... Yeah, we did some heavy damage to them. We're gaining some devotion, which is fine. We don't really care about that. Oh, okay. I saw another army, but we don't have to go and engage them right away. Where's our guy with the onagers? This one. Put him in here to siege some more lands down. So if, you know, the Byzantine Emperor doesn't join in, this war will be much easier for you. However, they did. So, what are you going to do? You're going to have to siege some more land, get some more war score. Let's actually come out of the mountains. But yeah, I mean, it's very straightforward. Even with them having, you know, 2,000 more soldiers than us, and you saw before they had like 9,000 more soldiers, it doesn't matter. These horse archers are so strong. You are going to have the quickest, the quickest achievement run you ever had. Besides, you know, if, <laughs> if the achievement is to marry somebody, maybe you could get that one super quickly. But you're going to have it so quickly. And I'm surprised. This currently, as of October 23rd, 2020, only 2% of players have done this. More people have recreated the Holy Roman Empire, or not Holy Roman, the Roman Empire, not Holy Roman Empire. Okay, this this is kind of dangerous. I was a little bit talking uh, instead of getting my soldiers there, but now they're in there. We don't have a huge negative penalty from fighting in the mountains, and these horse archers are crushing. This is, this is what I assume the new Genghis Khan is going to be like. He's just going to roll in with thousands of horse archers, and... It's just gonna be game over for everyone else. Let's go. Let's go fight these annoying Byzantine Emperor dudes. What are they doing here? Yeah, yeah. Come on. Yeah, you better run. That's for sure. Get on out of here. Bunch of punks. Um. All right. Send this guy back. Everyone else. Go there. Strategical impasse. Great, we have such good military skill, we can employ both. But yeah, I'm I'm just saying, you know, recreating the Roman Empire, that takes work. You're going to have to do multiple, multiple wars, you know, even if you're Italy or the Byzantine Emperor. It's going to take time. This is going to take less than... 20 minutes to get this achievement so if you have this game and if you you know i mean even if you don't want it to get some achievements like just just go for it it's so simple so straightforward and it's a lot of fun like i'm crushing the byzantine emperor from the beginning it's 866 and they can't do anything to me so it's just fun. It's nice. It's fun. It's straightforward. We're going to grab all our people together to go crush these guys again. Why not? Yeah, <laughs> look at them. Look at them run. They don't, they're not even going to be able to escape. 
Oh, what? Okay, that was weird. It said they weren't going to be able to escape, but apparently they did. So we'll come back here. We'll grab uh, this one army again. Send these guys over here. Let's go siege down some more lands. If the if the Byzantine <laughs> Emperor is just going to keep on running, what? We can't can't stop them from running. We're just going to sit here sieging these lands. <laughs> this is this is just fun. This is hilarious. This is like my funnest time I'm having playing Crusader Kings 3 in a long time. Oh yeah, we have people probably who can be ransomed. All right. Well, I want the full gold. We've got a ton of gold from something. I don't remember ransoming anybody. Must be from our occupations. The Byzantines are just hiding out over there. I don't know where the Bulgarian army is. If we could fight and destroy the Bulgarian army, we would probably get a lot more uh, battles, one war score. So far, all we have... Oh, there's some Bulgarian. Okay, maybe they're all going to get together. Our Onigers are doing great work in sieging these lands very quickly so that's why we got those as men at arms all right let's let's get together we had we found a new group of guys to go beat up it's gonna be lots of fun i love how it just says like a tiny plus it's huge Let, let's slow down the battle again I, I i love just watching these like crushings man it's like every day Hundreds of them. In fact, we beat them up so quickly the whole army got disbanded. Let's let's just keep crushing these Byzantine guys. Why do you guys why do you have no supply? What are you guys doing? Yeah, get out of it. Oh, somebody else is coming right into our jaws. <laughs> yeah, you wanna join too? You wanna <laughs> come get wrecked by these horse archers? Please make my day. So this is actually the quicker way to win this war is through battles rather than through sieges. You can see that almost all of our percent war score is coming from the battles won. And now we have it all. So without further ado, we'll enforce the demands. We get tons of land. If we really cared, we would have to give this all out to a bunch of different people, I believe. Yeah, so one of our um, special armies was disbanded, the 3,000 soldier one, but you still have a 2,000 soldier uh, special soldiers sitting around, another 759 horse archers, so we could continue to expand like crazy if we wanted to. But, you know, that's not the point of this video. The point is to get that achievement. And what do we need to do right now? We need to form Hungary and convert to Christianity. So luckily, with our invasion, we already get to form Hungary right away. Our old lands are given up. Yedisan, you know, good luck to you, my good sir. But now all we need to do is convert our faith. So what we can do is click up here on the Other Faiths button. Show not only Uralic faiths. We can go to Catholicism. You could choose any other Christian faith. Uh, what? Where's my ability to sort by Christian? There we go. All of these Christian faiths, I believe, would give you the achievement but probably Catholicism is the easiest one let's see orthodoxy we could go orthodox as well but let's I think Coptic we may not be able to, yeah because they're they're not nearby so we get a percent minus for converting to a faith that is get out of here convert to Coptic to a right here the faith is present or near your realm another minus 250 percent it only costs 250 piety, and I believe you even start with 250 piety. We've gained a couple extra from these battles against heathens. So we just click Convert Faith, and we should have this achievement completed. Let's let it go. There we go. Almost there. And there you go. That's, I mean, less than 15 minutes. You could, probably could have done this even faster, especially if Bulgaria had not allied with the Byzantine Empire, only had, a, you know one of these other nearby neighbors as their ally, and then you just go and crush the Bulgarian army and get hungry super quickly. So yeah, please, this is a plea from me to all of you Crusader Kings 3 players out there. Go out there, just spend 15 minutes, do this playthrough. Let's get 
almost RPAD up there. He needs to not be in 2%. We can get him at least to like 10% level. You know, the same level as uh what what you know, we got we got turning to diamonds. We have murdering your lover spouse. That's even higher than forming hungry and getting the and just converting to Christianity. Like, come on. We we can get it up there. <laughs> All right. So that's uh this achievement run. This was fun. This was this was a blast. Thank you, Paradox, for putting this one in here and making it so easy to get with these special soldiers. Until next time, uh, please do, you know, just like and subscribe. Do that old song and dance. <laughs> uh, it feels weird to say that for the first time. But yeah, until then, please do remember to take care of yourself.